I'm Brian Massetti. I'm Kevin Massetti. Is this the one that Kevin drove at four in the morning around the Madera Speedway this, with that country singer? This is the, Allegedly. This is the famous Pete that Heath Sanders and Kevin drove around the Madera Speedway. They were jamming gears and shifting, drinking and, beers. And drinking beers, I, I think. guarantee, yeah, 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 I guarantee. I'm afraid so. Wasn't it funny when he said to you, oh, so you own this truck? Tell me a story on that, Brian. So it went something along the lines of, I says, hey, I need to get that truck so we can load it up. And then I saw it was Heath and I said, oh shit. I said, I saw my truck going around the track and I got a little nervous. And he says, wait, this is your truck? Cause <laughs> he convinced me it was his truck. <laughs> and I said, well, it's pretty close, but we needed it to load the shit up. So okay, cool. Tell anyway. us about your truck a little bit. This is a 2017 Pete. It's a beautiful yellow color. That's why we bought it. Is yellow, is that kind of the team color? Well, the, the uh, matriarch of the team is yellow fever. So yellow is kind of a big deal to us. Um, so it's a sweet truck. Uh, Kevin and Dad like to drive it up and down the highways. They look pretty good doing it. Love it. Love it. All right. Let's go, Kev. Let's start with Yellow Fever as we work our way down the trailer of fun here. Tell us about Yellow Fever, how it started, what you know about it, and I'll ask Brian the same thing. <clears throat> well, Yellow Fever is a 1941 Dodge military truck. Dad started in, I'm going to say, 76-ish. 1976 let's say um it's gone through a few different renditions since then but for the most part she's still the same thing that's first truck i drove first truck brian drove in a pole of course my brother steve first truck he drove do you have a brother we have another brother named steve <laughs> well i didn't know that where's he at he's in la he's in la yeah should, we, should I pause the video? Did I say anything wrong? Do we like him? No, he's a cool dude. Yeah, he's a cool he's dude. dude. He, Does he come to the Golden State Invitational in Madeira? Yeah, he was there once. Was he? he was there this year. Steve, this is your call out, buddy. Yeah. yeah. Kevin, tell me you miss him. Miss you, Steve. Well, we'll miss you, Steve. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Weird. No, I didn't know that. So is he, is he the oldest? Or? He is the oldest. Okay. Yeah. By cool. far. By far. Yeah, long ways. Long ways? A lot, a lot old. A lot older? Yeah. Cool. Anyways, that's Yellow Fever. Uh... She's the, the original Keep, the Massetti pulling team. Can you tell me about the motor a little bit? It's a... Uh, or the engine, I always say that wrong. What is it? It's a 620 cubic inch Chevrolet. Okay. It's uh, naturally aspirated, of course, for this class. Um, she runs pretty good. Good deal. Okay, she's about middle of the pack. It's old faithful. She's old faithful. This is what James drives. No. Yep. Right. Grandson. It's kind of gone through everybody. Everybody's driven it. So. Can you tell me, so not everybody gets to see under a truck like this, Kevin. What are these loops? I mean, I obviously I know what they're for, but can you explain to the, the maybe the, the fan that doesn't understand this, what drive, we call those? Driveline loops are just in case you joint breaks, um, driveline comes loose so it doesn't go flying off into the crowd, kind of keeps it contained there. Um, I think there's a rule for how many you're supposed to have, how far apart, and I'm sure this is within the rules. Absolutely. That is. Whatever, but, the, uh, whatever the rules are. There's a bunch of safety rules, so that's one of them. Yeah. Sounds good. Brian, step up. Tell me about this whip. What's it? I want to know the history on it and uh, kind of how it started and then where we're at today. So we call this the whip. We bought the, Kevin and I bought the rolling chassis from Donald Nelson. It was the Texas Bull Whip. So as a nod to her, her lineage, we just call her the whip now. Uh, we probably did this 12 years ago. Yeah. Um, we've, Yellow Fever's been in the family forever. When I was in college, we added another four-wheel drive truck. You did? We did. We added another Pro Mod. Um, What's that called? It was called the Outlaw. Okay, it where's that at now? Maine. It's in Maine? Yeah. The, the state of Maine? The Theriault family from the state of Maine bought it. Um, we were also in, in 99, we formed MLM Motorsports. 2000 was our first season putting on pools. So this was back in that era. And then we decided it was too much work to have two pro modifieds and a sled and put on events. So we sold that truck and then we just had yellow fever and the sled and the events for a while. And then whenever this was in about 2010, 11, we started this project and we bought this chassis and it was just going to be a single engine tractor. But then we found a couple Rodak blocks and we decided to make it a twin engine tractor. Uh, we, we ran pretty good for a few years. We had a lot of fun with it. And then a couple years ago, we decided it was time to step the game up. So 
She spent last summer in Nebraska and these two Hemis were built and everything was changed. We got rid of the Rodax and uh, they ended up sitting way up front facing out. And we've only gotten to make a couple passes with it and we're hoping to get it dialed in and make some good passes soon. Awesome. I got to see it run at the GSI, so that was awesome to see it run. So this runs in what would be uh, like the Outlaws run their 7,400 pound modified class. That's the class that we run out here is very similar to that. So How many tractors are like are in your class on a night, on an average night? Five. Five, okay, good. Um, I did hear, and I, I don't, I did hear that the Corzine's tractor was bought by a family in, in Tulare, about an hour south of us, that the three, two or three engine tractor. I heard that's coming out here to California. Yeah, it was a third degree burn. Third degree burn. Yep. But I heard it's coming with two engines. So cool. That's a bad unit right yes, there. Yes, it is. Very good. Which is great for pulling, but if you're in that class, it sucks that <laughs> there's all these good tractors. <laughs> yes. makes, you, it makes you step up your game. Yeah. So, anyways, this is our... Uh, I don't know. This is our little hot rod tractor. We the whip. The whip. The whip. All right. Whip. Let's work our way back to this diesel truck back here. I want to pause right there and thank Tally, Kenny Tally, Marty Tally, the Tally family for all their help. Okay. Awesome. Okay. So this old girl we call all smoked out. Um, we've had this probably four years. We got it right the season that COVID shut everything down. So we bought this from Robert Williams in Indiana and have become very good friends with Robert. Yeah, I've seen, he comes out to the GSI he, every year. He's been out yep. here a couple times. Uh, he came out when we got we got it out here and then he and Matt came out and we set the track up outside and had the sled and we pulled it a few times that day. Uh, he came out for Trevor's birthday party, I'm pretty sure. And then Trevor and I went back to go pull with them a couple summers ago, but we didn't get to even unload the truck because everything got rained out that week we were there. Uh, but this is a 3.0 limited pro stock pickup. Um, it runs pretty good. Uh, we put a fresh turbo on it for the Invitational last year and managed to blow it up on the second night, but we did win, so that's okay, I guess. Um, these trucks weigh 8,000 pounds. They have to run a DOT tire. I think it's a 52 or 5 inch weight bar. Uh, we can run uh, air to water intercooler, but no water injection. So it's straight diesel fuel. Um, well, no, that's a good class. This out here, this class is, is comprised mostly of, of the younger guys, the newer generation of puller. Uh, Trevor typically drives this truck. Um, but all the guys in that class are, are pretty young. Uh, it's neat to see that class growing with these younger pullers and, and all a great group of guys. Just, it's a neat class to be involved in. Has anybody ever driven this other than Trevor? Dad drove it in Winnemucca. You drove it out here. Broke it. it broke a front axle. You broke it? Why'd you break it, Kevin? <clears throat> I told him I'd probably break. I didn't want to drive it. And they said, no, Uncle Kevin, you got to drive it. And then it broke. It broke. <laughs> uh, I've driven it out here. I did drive it at one of them. At the test track? Yeah, at the yeah. test track. And then I did drive it at an event last year, and James drove it last year also. So she's made the rounds. Mm -hmm. Nice. You know, this whole deal is all, it's all all of our family. Obviously, Dad is still involved. Uh, we get him to drive whenever we can. He, he doesn't like it. He drove it. Yellow Fever this year, didn't he? Once he did in Modesto, yes, document it so. somewhere. Mm -hmm. I think we he talked about it. Or, yeah, he drove in Modesto one night. Um, he drove this in Nevada last year. It's been a while since we got him in the tractor. He it might set his pacemaker a little <laughs> off, so we're we kind of want to be careful of that. Want to keep him around. Let's not kill him. Want to keep him around. Let's not kill him. We need him around. So, so. yeah, getting um, a phone call. Getting a phone call, Trev. So, um, all right. Kevin, take me over to the garden tractors. Tell me a little bit about these a little bit, because there's some cool stuff here in the, the, in the crib. Well, I, he spotted them on the wall. So, Also, we should take a look at the uh, the uh, loading job we did here later. Okay, uh, we'll come back to that. About an extra two inches we can add. We can add. Stuff so here. what do we got up here, Kev? Garden tractors. Um, what did this start? We, again, thought that was a good idea. 
<clears throat> so this, because this was like before the twist, before the whip, right? Um, no, this was just a couple years ago. Oh, okay. Brian, I think somebody kind of gave him an idea that two of these were, somebody had some for sale nearby. So he went and looked at them. Of course, we ended up with two of them. And then, then you start looking on uh, Facebook and all that stuff and found another one. And then. I heard that there was one with a motorcycle engine. That's in, that top right one, right? Yeah, in Fresno. So, of course, I had to go get that. Um, and then the Powell's got a sled. About the, well, then they got a couple tractors, and then we needed a sled, so they found a sled. Uh, we've probably used them maybe twice, maybe once <laughs> at a real pull. Once we, at a real pull and once here. We did it once here at the at the shop. Is garden tractor pulling popular out here? No. no. I mean here, like this is Yeah, the, like the Massetti Ranch. Yeah, and then like two other guys maybe. Two other guys. Powell's got six or eight of them. Powell's got You guys just heavy. get together and have the Massetti Powell shootout. We should do that. We get that done. They have the sled? They have the sled. We well, could go tomorrow. So it might be something to do. Yep, <laughs> Probably I do it indoor, know. bring some dirt in here. Um so, which ones have you driven? All of them, Kev? Uh, or just no, uh, just the green one on top. And really, that's more fun, like not hooked to the sled. Yeah, because it's more of a race car. It's pretty dang, uh, you know, yeah. a little dangerous. Uh, I don't know that I ever did the other ones, um, but that one. So that the good. bottom left ones look a little more stock, right? I guess. Yeah. What are those? I have, try, like, what? what? Those are. Uh, what kind of motors are those? I think they're little coolers. Coolers or something. Yeah. So the, the bottom left one, we've never actually got running. Oh. Um, so do you want to sell these, Brian, or? I don't know. Okay. I should have, I sold one and then I regretted it because it ran good. It was just like the yellow one, but it was all red. I don't know if you can see the one up on top. This is super popular the in the Midwest. Black one, if you can see that pedal right there. Yeah, so we, had to, we extended that three or four inches so that James could push the clutch all the way in when he was a lot younger. That's awesome. Now he's about six feet tall, so I'd have to cut those off. <laughs> drive it, but... I see this one's named after Kevin. <laughs> it could be, yeah. Loose nuts. Yeah. These are cool looking little rigs. Yeah. I like it. I like it. Um, there's some tires sitting over there. I want to talk about the tires. Can, we, can I follow you? This is your crib, Miss Eddie. Yeah. Can I show it off here? The Terminator sled comes out of Wisconsin about 45 minutes from my house. No, that's actually not true, and I didn't it's not. you earlier, no. I it, thought it that was. It came from Scottsdale, Pennsylvania, oh. Richard Love. This was an old decision maker. So this is not, so you no, called it the Terminator. It, no, no we, we've, our white sled was the Terminator. Gotcha. So Brad I, had a Terminator. Yeah, he's the, he was second. We started in... In 2000, we named ours Terminator. Uh -huh. so I don't know who was first. So that so you bought a decision maker sled. I Richard loved decision maker. Gotcha. Well, that's so, why we have that up there then. That's why. Okay. Uh, What's up here with this project? This is James's project. Okay. 70 Chevrolet, three quarter ton, four wheel drive. That's like a K20 or something. I'm not good at letters and numbers, but James and I have been working on this. We're trying to get some. We're not body guys, but we're trying to get some uh, body panel fitment. Um, we fixed some rust holes and some shit like that. Cool. Um, oh, we got some go karts. We got a couple, yeah. That's a pedal. That's a pedal tractor sled. That's the pedal sled. We call Do you it. use that at events? Uh, sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah, and then we got the two little tractors there. The last event it did was Tony Souza's little guy's birthday party last year. Um, I built it when the when Trevor was just a wee little tyke. Um, that's cool. Go-karts, Kevin and I bought the top and bottom one because we thought we needed them. Mm -hmm. um, Just seem to have a lot of good ideas on shelves. Stupid. <laughs> no, you're a guy. The, the, the green one I bought at a yard sale when Trevor was probably six months old. Is it fast? No. No? And then this little Corvette one was Christie's Uncle's, I think. So that one we just kind of keep nice. I'd like to repaint it someday. The top know. one's fast. The top one's fast. That's why it's on the top shelf. It's the hardest one to get to. Well, that's like a, like a little sprint car. Yeah, there are motorcycle engines in there, Honda 250s or something. I don't know. This one was, a, was this the one set up on alcohol? Well, no, that's that the, one. The top one? This well, one they well, put this. This one we never, motor. one of them we never got running, so they we took that motorcycle engine out and Trevor put that little gas in, so at least you could drive it. Yeah, but these tires you asked about. Yeah, what do we got? They're, um, These are from the mod. 
These are off the whip. Okay. Obviously, they've been sharpened. They're fresh. A couple years ago, we were convinced that Mitas were the way to go. Um, so we bought a set of Mitas, put them on. And they haven't left. But, or did they leave? No, but I don't know if we like them yet. We're going to oh. see if they work with this combination. And then that's why these are still here. Cause gotcha. These will bolt right back on. Yep. And then we, I don't know, we might have Mitas for sale. We might sell these. Or we might just do like these truck tires and just put them on a pallet and put them up on a shelf and never do anything. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's the cut on that? That's a triple cut. That's from like back in the 90s. Or yeah. They used to think. I haven't seen that in a while. Yeah, no shit. Those are rotten though. But they're cool, so we keep them. They're cool, so we keep them. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. That's a lot of time on that. Huh? Yeah. Imagine that's being some... the guy that cut and grind all that. A lot of bush light. Yeah. yeah. A lot of bush light. Yeah. So, all right. On cribs, we gotta check the fridge, right? We always gotta check the fridge on cribs. Oh, yeah. This shop's actually really nice. Not a lot. I mean, we have apples and carrots. Of course, it's California. We have monsters. Monsters, this is your jam? Yeah. I, I, got, I, I gotta to, get you some cold cream. I used to have a bunch of chiladas, but. What's a chilada? Chilada? It's a Modelo. It's a really lightweight beer, but it's got like tomato juice in it. What? Pretty good, dude. You'll have a some... tomato juice beer. Yeah, right. You never had a chilada. I've never heard of a chilada. I haven't. Seriously. It's like a Bloody Mary. Oh yeah, but it's beer. That's pretty good. Oh, yeah. I like a chilada. <laughs> I'm just filming oh, whatever. This is uh, chilada. Chilada. We're gonna look for a sponsorship for yeah. Modelo. Yeah. The color would come MLM cool Motorsports with Modelo. Yeah. Yep. Where, where we are here in California, they're really, really popular. A popular deal. Yeah, I like it. But anyways, got we, some Monster. Got some Seven Up. Yeah. Dr Pepper, Coke, Bud Light. We used to have a lot more Water. beer in here, but old O-Dog, Trevor's roommate, was here for a week on spring break. Owen. Yeah. We call him O-Dog, though. And then the kid that was on the podcast, that's other Owen. Oh, but yeah. Anyways, uh, nothing left but the um, Can we turn on the neons? Yeah, we can Because neons. neons are cool. I love neons. And you know that Schultz is here when the Tito's out at one point. Oh, weird how that got here. That Tito's. That just magically appeared. Yeah. Tito's needs to sponsor the Beer Money Polling Team. Oh, there we go. Heck yeah. Uh, we got, our, we got an NHRA Bud King sign. Yeah. Hey, check this out. We ID. But look, look. I don't know if you can see the date. You got to be born on or before this date. April 24th. <laughs> so you're saying anybody can drink if here. Born, if you're born, if you you're can born, drink here at the Miss Eddie Motorsports Shop. You, you can have a, a drink here. In the, Club what do um some of these pictures mean? Oh, hold on, I'm gonna come back here. This is neat. This is like a museum slash shop. Yeah. So, what do we got here, Miss Eddie? So th oh, that was the, the other pro mod that I told you. Oh, the outlaw. Yeah, that was my old truck. And that's in Maine now, you said? Yeah. Yeah. This was a, a throttle cable out of Suzy, our our Suzuki pit cart. It broke somewhere in the Cal Poly. Kids Why here. does one keep a broken throttle cable? Is that memories or? Yeah. It's like sentimental. Yes. Okay, that's fine. Oh, yeah. And the kids did a good job fixing it, so we keep that. And then uh, those are the two girls that are pulled in Willets. Um, this is old school. That's Yellow Fever. Where's that, that at? Man, I don't you recognize know, that? Either Madeira or Merced. Probably oh. Merced because it's dirt track. The big Bigfoot. What's that, the that's big old Bigfoot. That cute little guy right there is Kev that we were just talking to. And that's Kevin Massetti? The one in the middle. Huh. And then I'm in the left. And, and Steve? Steve's on the right. And then uh, this here, this is Mama Joan driving yellow fever. Jones driving? Yeah. Where's that? That's indoors somewhere. Probably Oakland. Oakland? Yeah. That's old. old Did she Jeep. do good driving it? Oh, hell yeah. Uh, that's Gary Weisenberger's old sled back in the day. This is what dad actually started with. That 1957 Ford panel that his dad bought brand new in 57. And that was a parts delivery wagon for their radio TV hospital business. So nobody rode on that sled back then? Uh, yeah, you can the it? seat would be way back here in the corner. Um, and that's Steven and I working on Yellow Fever back in the day. Awesome. Crescent wrench to adjust the carburetor. Uh, it's a dog uh, getting a beer? That's my old dog, Max. He's not here, he's in heaven, but he got a Bud Light at a family reunion. That's cool. Uh, 
That was the first pass with the whip at Cal Poly. Yeah, because I recognize that backside. Yeah. yeah, that was a long while back. So that would have been like 09 maybe? No. Like, or when'd you get 99? When'd you buy no, that for that would have been like uh, 12 or... It was before... Before Emily was four. It's just like... Uh, it might have 13, been. 14. Yeah, so it was around 2000. Can cool. we pull it in Houston I mean, first, though? No, Cal Poly was the first. You guys hooked that in doors? Like at the Astrodome? Uh, have we done that? Yeah. The whip? Um, not yet. Not oh, yet. He said Houston. Oh, I thought he said Houston. No, oh, no, Houston. Tea. I'm oh, Houston. Houston. Fruit and Nut Festival in Houston, California. Fruit and Nut, about nut it. Festival. We're in California. There's a lot of fruits and nuts. Yes. Not Houston. Yeah, yeah, not, yeah, not no, that's Houston. okay. It's like, I've been to too many tractor pulls without earplugs. So. It's like San Luis and St. Louis. Yeah, we had that happen here tonight. It's that tea. I'm from San Luis. It's you what? Tea. Yeah. Um, I love these signs. I gotta check these out. So. Every shop needs a uh, an ice maker, and that's important. Old Polar magazines. Yeah. This oh, is uh, pulling, pulling power. Oh, yellow fever and. Uh, October 1984. Kevin was just a wee little guy back then. That's awesome. Well. Dude, magazines back in the day. That is awesome. Yeah. This was the magazine, right? Back in the day, Pulling Power? So this is like this is like TNT, USHRA, kind of USA. What was it? And what was it? USHRA. Or is it? Was there an SRO? That's SRO what I was thinking was of. out here quite a few times. Yeah. So, yeah. Awesome. Um, um, last thing I want to check out is this golf cart. Can you, can we, or is it still, is it top secret still? Oh, I don't know. I mean, okay. We got to see it. drove it down the street for the Jack in the Box. The Jack in the Box. <laughs> Thanks for showing us through your crib, Miss Eddie's. Oh, anytime. Always happy to have the beer money pulling team with us. The proprietor. It's fun to fun to help work with you guys. Chow Chilla, right? Coming up. Chowchilla, May tenth. May tenth for something. Off the, uh, 2024 season. So yeah, this is uh, this so is this, a fast little golf cart. This golf cart was uh, gifted to to the boys Trevor and James from Garrett Forbes and Alan Isaacson, who are Cal Poly alumni, and. Um, when they were down at school, they took out the golf cart engine and they put like a little twin cylinder Honda or some lawnmower engine. Well, then it, it was pretty rough. Not that it's cherry right now, but it had this ugly ass bed on it and it had the top somewhere. It looked more like a golf cart. So then the boys decided they needed to put a motorcycle engine in it. And then James, it's, it's on there. Um, James, texted me one day he was in school and he says hey we need to find a, a motorcycle that runs but you can't license for the golf cart and I said oh yeah that'd be tough good luck five minutes later he sends me a shot of a marketplace ad and there's one just 45 minutes from here up in the hills and then but he needed I forget how he said it, but he needed a little capital investment in this program so oh, yeah. so that's where dad came in yep so they went up and got this motorcycle and I mean it was right here he took it apart pulled the engine out of course Trev's at school so James was doing a lot of the work here and then whenever Trev would come home for vacation or whatever they'd work together and the, with the body on you can't see a lot of what they did but it's really it's pretty awesome um I nicknamed it the death trap a the while death back trap because well you put an 800 cc motorcycle engine in a golf cart and then the the steering didn't work, so James just widened the whole front axle a little bit, welded on the springs. And so it's, it's a straight line racer. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, they put in, it, it now has a clutch pedal. Okay. And we actually put a little clutch safety switch. That was mandatory on my part. And then, I mean, it's got disc brake in the back, so it's pretty cool. Um, I don't know if it'll start. looks like it's on so battery might be dead but oh we got some lights that's that's a fuel pump so there's a choke right here i think they usually don't let me do this part let's see what happens
Yeah, this is pretty cool. The Death Trap. Yeah. Have, uh, what would you guess top speed on this is? We've gotten it to like 45. 45? Does but, it start to wobble a little bit or? No, we just, we run out of room in the yard <laughs> um, But in like third gear on the gravel, you're probably going 20. And if you lay into it, it'll just start going sideways. But I mean, it's yeah. not got a lot there. But, um, the boys drove it all the way down to Jack in the Box, which is about a half a mile away. And drove through the drive through Okay. Ordered lunch. And um, we did take it to San Luis Obispo for Trevor's birthday weekend. And they terrorized the neighborhood until one of the neighbors told them that was enough. That was enough. He was going to call the cops. And so we parked it after that. But Good deal. Yeah, they. Um, it's pretty neat what they did. I was pretty impressed with it. Oh, it's fun. Good engineering. You know, there's worse things you could have your kids do, I guess. Right. Build a golf cart. Fred goes 60 mile an hour. Probably will. Probably, yeah. Yeah. We haven't gotten it into fifth gear yet. You haven't gotten it into fifth gear yet? Well, there's only one way to find out, Kevin. We should take it to the Madeira Speedway. We should not. We should not so. Kevin, thank you for showing us around your crib. Thanks. Brian Massetti, thank you for showing us around your crib. Happy to um, have you. Anything you want to say to the people? Thanks for uh, watching Truck and Tractor Pulling, supporting this hobby that we all love, and uh, we look forward to seeing everybody out there this season. MLM Major League Motorsports.